everyone. We've already learned how to use our data to make a bar graph, so today you're going to work on creating a survey to collect some of your own data. We're going to use a website called SurveyMonkey in order to collect some data from our classmates. I've gone ahead and opened up an internet window, and at the top of my screen I can see a, a box that says SurveyMonkey. Right? When you log into your internet, you're going to have the same button at the top. I'm going to go ahead and put my mouse over it and click it so that I open up to the login page for SurveyMonkey. Okay, now on the username, we're all going to use the same username and password to create our surveys. I'm going to click in my username box and I'm going to start typing Saradsky students. Okay, so that's your teacher's last name and students. There's no spaces just Saratsky students. Then I'm going to click in the password box and I'm going to start typing my password. It's Clifton. C L I F T O N. Then I'm going to go down to this yellow button and click sign in. Okay, now I'm signed into our account and the first thing I want to do is create my own survey. So I see this green button here that says create survey. I'm going to click that. Okay. The first thing it wants us to do is give our survey a title. Now because there's going to be a lot of students creating their surveys here, we want our title today to be your name. That way we know who created the survey. So I'm going to go ahead and type my name in. When you get to this step, you'll use your own name. Then I'm going to click Let's Go to start my survey. All right, so the website has gone ahead and created a survey for us. Unfortunately, I don't have any questions in my survey right now, so it just says Empty Page. In order to add some questions to our survey, we're going to look on the left here where it says Builder. Okay, they give you a lot of different choices to choose from for your questions, but to create our survey so our classmates can choose their answer, we're going to use this multiple choice one that's first. When I put my mouse over multiple choice, it shows me a box to give me a little preview of what our multiple choice questions will look like. This is the kind of question we want. We want to be able to read the question and have other students choose the answer that suits them best. I'm going to go to this gray button here that says add to bring up my first question. Okay. Now notice it says Q1 here. That shows me that it's question number one. I'm already ready to type my first question, so I'm just going to start typing. What is your favorite school subject? Now you don't have to use the same questions as I've used. I just chose some, some questions that I thought I would like. Notice that I've written my question exactly how I want it to appear in my survey. I have a capital letter at the start of my sentence, and I have a question mark at the end since I'm asking a question. Now I'm ready to put my answer choices that my friends can choose from. Notice how below it says answer choices with some boxes. Now, you can put one choice into each box. I'm going to go into the first box and click. Notice how the box turns blue. That shows I'm ready to type. I'm going to put my first choice as math. Okay, I only put one choice in the box. When I'm ready for my next choice, I go down to the next box, and I click so that it turns blue, and I'm ready to type. I'm going to do my next choice as reading. And I'm going to go to my last box. I'm going to click there so it turns blue. And I'm going to type science. Now I'd like to add one more choice. I'd like to add social studies. But I don't see any more boxes here that help me add. So instead, in order to add a box, I have to go all the way to the right. And I see a green plus sign. Okay, when I put my mouse on that green plus sign, the box comes up that says add another choice. This is what I want to do. So I'm going to click, and it gives me a new box. Okay, now in this new box, I'm going to type social studies. Okay. 
I'm happy with my four choices. If you'd like to add a fifth, that's okay with me. You would just use the green plus arrow again. But I'm happy with my choices, so I'm going to go to the bottom, and I'm going to click Save. Okay? And that has saved my question in my survey. When you make your survey, you'll have to make three questions. So I'm going to go back up to where I see multiple choice, and I'm going to click Add again. Notice that this time, it says Q2. That means question two. And I'm ready to type my question. So I'm going to type, what is your favorite season? Okay. Again, I've typed it how I want it to appear. I have a capital letter at the beginning. I have a question mark at the end. And I'm ready to do my choices. So I go down to my first answer choice box, and I click so it turns blue. And I'm going to type winter as my first choice. Go to my next box, and I'm going to type spring. My next box, and I'm going to type fall. Now, there is one more season, so of course I want to add another box, another choice. So I'm going to go over to my green plus sign, and I'm going to click, and it gives me a new box to type in. And here I'm going to put summer. That's my last season. When I'm done with that question, I'm going to go ahead and click my Save button on the bottom. Now, when I look at my survey, I have two questions in here. Okay? When you do your survey, you'll want to add a third one. So you would go back to multiple choice and add another one. For today, I'm going to say that I'm done. And I go to the top where I see a blue Next button, and I click Next. Okay, now this page pops up that shows me the link that I can find my survey at. Before we copy our link, I want to look at this first row that says Responses Per Computer. Okay, I'm going to click that box. This allows us to have more than one student taking your survey on the same computer. So I'm going to click this bottom circle. Okay. That means that if we don't have enough computers for everyone, students can take your survey on the same computer if they need to. Now that I'm done changing that setting, I'm going to look at my web link at the top. I've highlighted mine in blue so that you can see it. You're going to write this down on your separate sheet of paper with your paper and pencil. Exactly how you see it is how you should copy it. I've opened up a notepad here for me to copy it down, but you should do it on your paper with your pencil. Okay? I'm going to show you exactly how I copy my web link. I'm looking at the web link it's giving me, and I'm copying it exactly as I see it. This is the web page that your friends are going to go to when they're ready to take your survey you'll be able to view your friends' links so that you can go take theirs as well. Now that I've copied down my link, I'm going to take my piece of paper and give it to my teacher. This is so that she can share it with my classmates, and I can get my classmates' web link so that I can take their survey too. Once you've reached this step and you've given this to your teacher, you're done for now. See you soon.